Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install TensorFlow uh, for your Jupyter Notebook. So, first, create a new folder and name it how you want. For example, I will just name it TF. Then go inside that, that folder. Then hold Shift key and right click at the same time. Then open the PowerShell window here. And here you need to create a virtual env environment and just type in python slash uh, dot uh, i mean dash m venv and tf venv then hit enter wait a little bit okay and now you need to activate the tf venv script so just type in dot backslash tf venv slash backslash scripts and backslash activate. And if you have a problem here, which I had in the beginning, just go just to the following steps. And um, if it works, just skip this part. I will leave a timestamp. So open up the PowerShell from here, PowerShell. And then you need to give um, the system some permissions. And for that, just add, type, copy and paste this command. I will leave it in the description, set exec execution policy dash execution execution policy and then remote signed scope current user and then here you need to give it the permission so just type in a big y and hit enter to give it the yes and then it should work when you when you do this step again with the event script activate so now then you need to install the, the, in, the ip kernel so for that just write pip install ip kernel let it install okay now it's finished then install tensorflow pip tensor pip install tensorflow then give it some time to install and then you need to add to Jupyter Notebook so type python dash m ip kernel install dash dash user dash dash name equal and then you can just type something what you like, but I will just name it for TF kernel. Wait a little bit and now it's done. Now, as you can see already, the TF venv is already created in your, folder, uh, in your original TF folder. And now head to your Jupyter notebook. So I have it here, open your folder. And here you can add a new TF kernel. And for testing purposes, we will import TensorFlow STF. And as you can see, it is loading. And then we can test it out with tf.variable 231 tf.int 16. And as you can see, up here it's still uh, loading. Okay, now it's finished. Then hit this one, and you can see it created a tfa variable. Yeah, that's basically it. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.